I don't want this to seem like I am calling Mongoose Publishing out for bad misconduct or anything of the sort. They have, what I do believe, done everything within their power um, uh, to act on this current situation. But I will not be purchasing any more items from their store in the UK. Uh, I live in Sweden, so it's not a very far away for them to send me a package. Uh, but I think that in order for me to give you like a proper story of what happened, um, uh, I need to start from the beginning. To the people that know, I have been playing role-playing games since 2004. Uh, I like to follow a lot of YouTube channels that talk about, you know, from the Dungeon Master's perspective on how to do things and so on. And one of those YouTube channels is Seth Sk uh, Skorkowski. He does a lot of Call of Cthulhu things, and he... Uh, <sighs> Recently is the incorrect word now, but he had put up a Traveler series, and I was always interested with Traveler. Always. So he did a review of the starter set of Traveler from Mongoose Publishing. And um, I was intrigued. It is a three dice based system, and uh, I was I spoke to my players. I like, hey, is this something that you guys would be interested in you know, trying out sometime? And they were like, yeah, yeah, sure. It's like, cool. I went to their website, Mongoose Publishing, because I wanted to purchase it directly from the source. Because from what I thought, or at least, well, they are small in comparisons to the behemoths, like it's like Wizards of the Coast. So I wanted, you know, the money should go directly to the guys. Plus, I would feel better like, okay, I will get this actual thing that is directly from the from them. There will be probably no hiccups in any uh, sense of the way. And I was wrong. So I wanted the Traveler starter set. Now the starter set that I was interested in contained um, the core rule book, basically almost the entirety of the core rule book, with some setting material set to the side, an entire campaign, and uh, it also contained like this big fold-out map that I would be able to use with my players to you know calculate which sectors they're in and so on. And it. Uh, and with this purchase, because they said that they were out of stock, um, uh, but I could pre-order them again because it would reprint them. And I was like, okay, cool. So I ordered them directly from them and I would also get the PDFs. So I have played Traveler. <laughs> I've just not gotten the physical copy from them. We're getting to that. So um, I get the PDFs and I read through the rules and I'm super excited. The day the order was made from Mongoose Publishing, I'm looking at my email right now, I might share some uh, a tidbit of a screen, it was the 6th of August 2020. Quite a while ago, isn't it? So, after a few weeks, the 26th of August, I get an email from Mongoose Publishing saying, Hi there, you have pre-ordered the Traveler starter set. I regret to say that we have made the decision not to reprint it in this current form. We would like to offer you a full refund or a partial refund and the Traveler Core rulebook, which is currently being reprinted and will be sent to you in two to three months. Let us know uh, which you would prefer and we will get that sorted to you. Cool. So I was like, you know what, I can take the core rulebook, I have at least the PDFs, uh, I do believe I sent something similar to them, let's see what I sent. So I an uh, answered uh, their email, which I said, hello Mongoose, I, see I have no issue whatsoever with waiting a few more months, don't worry about it, I gladly take the core rulebook, please stay safe, uh, best regards, my name. So I waited. And uh, there was no communication whatsoever coming from Mongoose Publishing. I was like, hmm. And I did not even get a partial refund as well. I went into my PayPal and I have looked over it and I even sent it to them and I did not get a, par a partial refund, which I informed them about. Needless to say, I was anyways going to get what I paid for. And, well, more than so, a core rulebook, which is more than fair. So I write them an email. This email was sent... Wednesday, the 7th of October, 2020. Dear Mongoose Publishing, The 26th of August, I received an email from you telling me that my pre-order for the Traveler starter set was not going to be sent to me since you people had made the decision not to reprint it in its current form. With the email, you also told me, we would like to offer you, uh, we would like to offer you either a full or a partial refund and the Ca Traveler Core rulebook, which is currently being reprinted and will be sent to you in two to three months. To which I replied, 
I have no issue whatsoever with waiting a few more months. Don't worry about it. A letter takes a core rule book. Please stay safe. The reason why I'm reaching out to you is that I received no reply to my message as a confirmation for my request to take a partial refund and receive the core rule book. And I have yet to see a partial refund be sent my way. I am merely checking in with you guys if you receive my message. Please get back to me as soon as possible. Uh, Thursday, the 8th of October, I receive a message. Hi there, very sorry about the lack of communication. A core rulebook will be indeed sent to you automatically. However, the refund was made of August 26th. Uh, PayPal may record this on your activity page a bit weird. It is not the easiest system for it, but the refund was made. Can you please check again? To which I reply on the same date. Thank you for this swift reply. I'm looking at my PayPal from August and I can only see withdrawals. Chop equals purchase in Swedish. Automatisk återbetalning equals automatic purchase, or automatisk betalning means automatic purchase. Återbetalat equals refunded. The last refund I received from the OR group, which is a refund I applied for on the website that is called Roll20, so I have not received my partial refund from what I can see. And then I also attached a picture um, uh, for the refund. So nothing, uh, nothing of the sort. He got back to me and he said, Hi there. Well, this is very odd. I may have to ask you to contact PayPal about this. As I can see, the refund went through on our side, and so what we can do is rather limited. Sad phase from Matthew. So at this point, I was like, okay, I'm not going to get a partial refund, but I will most likely uh, get uh, my core rulebook. So I replied, hello. It really makes no difference to me whether if I receive a refund or not. I understand that your hands are tied. On the bright side, I got the starter stuff PDF and the core rulebook smiley face. I am just happy and excited to get started with the game. I will be making pr more purchases uh, from you guys in the future. Do not worry. There is no animosity here. Please stay sa uh, safe. So that was sent. Uh, that final message was sent the Thursday, the 8th of October. Then Friday, the 1st of January, 2021. I uh, send them a message. Dearest Mongoose, it's nearly gone six months since I made my online of the starter set. It's been five months since you informed me that I'd be getting a core rulebook instead. I understand that things are tough. I am merely checking in on you due to the lack of communication. How are things going? I sent a follow-up mail and I think I had issues talking, uh, sending the message on my phone, but I think it is... Sincerest apologies for the typos and the lack of message. I don't know what I'm on about here. To be fired, I think, as a, to be honest, it's been five months since I made an order of the starter set and you informed me that a core uh, that I, it will be a core rulebook instead. I see from the website that they are in stock, but I have seen no order confirmation, no packing or tra uh, tracking number. I am merely checking out what's going on here. Sincerest regards. To which I got a reply four months ago saying, Hi there, sorry about this. The boat carrying the books finally arrived last week and is going through customs. We would like, uh, we should have the books in the next few days. All going well. And they will be sent to you as quickly as we can. Regards, Matthew. To which I replied, thank you for the quick reply. Happy New Year, my friend. So, you know, it's quite a while ago. So, I sent another message. Um... Uh, on the 26th of February. So it's been two months since we last spoke. How's it going with my order? I am getting rather impatient and saddened at the lack of communication. To which I received a reply. Hi there, very sorry about this. You should have seen it long before now. If you can quickly inform the postal address just in case, we will get a replacement to you off immediately. Okay, so hopes up. So I sent him my posting address. I don't want to show that to you guys. I am terribly sorry. And I also sent him another mail uh, with the Swedish letters, if there has been any issues on that uh, part, because we have things like and so on. To which he uh, sent me, Hi there, we'll be on its way to you next week. Cool, very cool. And I replied, Hello, please send me a mail once it has been sent, if you're able to, or a tracking ID. He sent me the last email on Tuesday the 9th of March, just to let you know, things will be departing within the hour, Matthew. And I did not get it. And, uh, you know, after a year of going back and forth and the lack of communication, me constantly, like the customer constantly having to reach out to get some sort of communication, some sort of update. I asked for a tracking ID. He did not confirm if he could leave that for me or if he couldn't. Uh, it was just completely ignored. Uh, and... 
it bothered me. Like, I don't think that that's how you do customer service. I understand that things are tough and they had to, you know, deal with Brexit and God knows what else. But I did not receive my partial refund. I did not receive the product I paid for. I did not even receive the um, other product that I would get. But in the end, I ended up getting the Traveler Core rulebook. So I have it right here. It arrived at my doorstep yesterday and I ordered it from a Swedish game shop called Alpha Spiel, uh, which means Alpha Games. And the reason why I got this from them was because, you know what, they're a store I can trust. They had them in stock. They sent it. It took me took them one day and it was by my doorstep. I will not be making any more physical purchases from Mongoose Publishing. I hope that this video reaches them. Uh, I do not want any sort of... Uh, uh, backlash to hit them in any shape or form. I merely need to talk about my experience because I have tried to be as transparent and uh, tried to be as vocal as possible with Matthew over their emails, but the lack of communication uh, just doesn't cut it for me. And then there is also the fact that, of course, I understand if you're, if you're a small team, things are getting hard, but I paid for something I never got and I didn't even get the partial refund, and I don't see myself getting a full refund. I did not even uh, contact them, letting them know that, hey, I did not receive this core rulebook. Uh, I've completely given up on the, uh, on the fact, but do not let this experience hinder you from trying out the Traveler tabletop RPG system. It is a fantastic, fun tabletop RPG system. I highly recommend it. If you live in the UK, you might want to use Mongoose Publishing. That is more than fair. Uh, you might even want to use Mongoose Publishing even after my video rant. I don't want them to like have like a cancel thing that hits them hard or anything other than that. Uh, but I, what I do want to know, I want to talk about my experience. I am a dissatisfied customer, but I am not critiquing Traveler in any shape or form. I am critiquing the customer service department of Mongoose Publishing. That's about it. All right. That's it from me. Stay safe, everybody. Wash your hands. Bye.